get my six. Guys, what a treat. It's almost dark. And once again, we're filming from the wood piles where this time of year in particularly, we typically have a lot of activity. Keep your eyes open here. If it looks like a portal, it's because it may or may not be. This is where the third ley line, the lower ley line comes and crosses our property. So first and foremost, Okay, we have some naysayers. We have some unbelievers about something great. Some people who do not believe in the fact that is a great fact. I hear something climbing up a tree. Let me announce our presence with one of my custom, handmade, Bigfoot Sasquatch tree knock sticks. This should do it. Oh. Wow, did you hear that response? It sounded like a cannon. So anyway, I'm here to answer a question I've been asked after this morning's video in which we may or may not have seen what potentially may or may not have been a Bigfoot Sasquatch. I mean, it was something eight and a half feet high. I'm not eight and a half feet high. I'm like six feet high, almost. Like five nine. I used to be five ten. Then I went to airborne school five jumps later. Five nine. But I was asked. Somebody said, it's like in the comment section, they said, OMG. Are your personally designed, handmade, and handcrafted potential Bigfoot Sasquatch field research kits actually for sale on Etsy now? OMG. Yeah, they are. In these kits, okay? And they come with instructions, full instructions on how to use it. Okay, and now listen, let me tell you something. That was really strange. I just saw something like a white ball bounce up behind me. <sighs> tell you what, strange things happen in this area this time of year. Excuse me, as I take a, I actually am drinking coffee. I just had a nap. My day started at 5 a.m., like most days. All right, so anyway, guys, as, as, as you know, the construction paper that I use to make my shapes, yeah, and I'm holding that there for a reason, not just to show the product, but because potentially right in the center there may or may not be something of interest there. You're saying, where, Crazy Lake? We know this is how this kit works. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. But right there in the red circle, inside the blue rectangle. And for those of you who have even worse vision than me, to make it even easier, we will use the green arrow. Watch it. See if it moves. Okay, now... Like I said, even though the construction paper is of the lowest quality I can find because that's typically the, the most inexpensive, I'm on a budget, the stock that, that the instructions come on is very heavy stock. Gosh, you go to a print store and you're like, can you give me something that's like so low quality it's probably going to fall apart in the mail. And they're like, we don't do that here. We stand by our products. I'm like, gosh, okay. So this stuff's almost as thick as cardboard. So anyway, let me demonstrate you because of that commenter that said, OMG, did you really mass produce your personalized homemade and handmade potential Bigfoot Sasquatch 
research field kits and make them available on Etsy in your Etsy store. OMG. Yeah. And here's what you get. One hardwood tree knocker. Okay? Custom made. And we shellac these down to prevent checking or chipping or cracking of the wood as it dries out. Okay? And look. You get the blue rectangle construction paper cut out. The red circle construction paper cut out. The green arrow construction paper cut out. And of course, the length of engineering tape. Now, if you've been watching the channel for some time, you know what all this stuff is for. But if you're new, that's why I've got the instructions. It's funny, that white ball seemed to be bouncing straight up. No, we do have a breeze right here. The breeze isn't blowing up, is it? Watch back here. Where, you might ask? I don't want to block the view of any particular area. So I'm going to stand over here and read these instructions. But watch this whole tree line. See, I told you, low quality construction paper. Low, the lowest quality I can find because I can usually get it in bulk for, for pretty cheap. You watch, you watch them creeping down out of the woods here along the tree line to see what we're up to here just before nightfall, okay? <clears throat> now, did you notice that the construction cutout shapes are also signed by this guy, Crazy Lake, and my words of wisdom are written on the back, okay, with every kit, which comes in a waterproof plastic resealable bag, just like here on the show. It all comes together, okay? Now, here's the instructions. This, this one individual just couldn't believe that these kits are now available on Etsy. You know, and the link to our Etsy store is in the, uh, the box, the description box below. And so, you know, I like to come out and show the naysayers. No, it is true. It, it, it's true. So, here we go. You get one Bigfoot Sasquatch tree knocking stick. Simply hold the stick by the handle and give a good whack up against a nice, solid, healthy tree. Or, like we've done tonight, a nice, solid, healthy piece of firewood. The harder the tree's wood, i.e. oak is harder than pine, the farther the sound of the knock will carry. Okay? So, you know, you can hit a pine if you want to find out if there may or may not be a potential Bigfoot Sasquatch in your yard. But if you want to find out if there's one in your neighbor's yard, maybe a mile away... You got to hit something harder than pine. Like a big solid piece of red oak. All right. Now, what else comes in this super awesome potential Bigfoot Sasquatch field research kit? designed and created and trademark uh, applied for by Kevin Crazy Lake, the blue rectangle, of course, and per the instructions with the blue rectangle construction paper cut out while out squatching, simply while out squatching, if you think you may or may not see movement or what appears to potentially be a Bigfoot Sasquatch, Hold the blue rectangle over the area of interest so that your companions can see where it is you believe you may or may not see something. Okay? Basically, it means potentially, like, potentially there may be a two-legged, upright-standing creature standing there looking at us. Potentially. Now, moving on to the red circle. Guys, this is the most... You, you've got to be very responsible with this tool again signed by kevin crazy lake and words of writ wisdom written on the back all of them okay you hear that there's something walking right beside me though i see nothing and the grass isn't even moving how do you explain that Maybe it's the power of the red circle. It's creepy. You know, I'm standing close to the garden where we had our pumpkin patch. It 
could be the pumpkin munchers. Remember those guys from October Nights? 31 Tales for the Halloween season? Listen very closely, and again, these instructions are included with every kit. These are exactly 500 words, and that's copywritten material. You know how hard it was for me to make this exactly 500 words? I had it perfected, but then when I wrote Copyright Kevin E. Lake 2020, I actually went 1, 2, 3, 4, 505, but that part doesn't count, so it's exactly 500 words. Listen. Caution. If this item is misused, this item being the red circle, you stand the chance of losing all credibility. And we all know how much credibility comes with this field. So take this caution seriously. Now, with that said, or typed, see, it says that. That said, or typed, because I typed this. If you indeed see something of which you are certain, hold the red circle over the area or object of interest. For example, if you're trying to draw your fellow squatcher's attention to a dead oak tree 50 yards in the distance, hold the red circle over the dead oak tree 50 yards in the distance. If you do believe you see an actual or potential Bigfoot Sasquatch, hold the red circle over the actual or potential Bigfoot Sasquatch. So your fellow squatchers can see it, or him, or her, or them, if there's more than one. It says all that in the instructions, okay? We got you covered. Nobody's going to be offended. As well. But again, you'd better be right, or there goes all your hard-earned credibility you've worked so hard to garner as an amateur or even as a professional cryptozoologist. So listen. I will do this. There is a white pine tree, the top of a white pine tree. That means definite. But listen, if I were to hold this thing up and say, there's a Bigfoot Sasquatch, and there's not one in this circle, all credibility is gone. And I've worked too hard to garner the credibility I have in the potential Bigfoot Sasquatch community to do that. I don't do it. Like that thing right there, I don't know what that is. See it right there in the middle of the circle? No? Well, then that brings us to the green arrow, okay? Now, I did not say that thing in the circle was a Bigfoot Sasquatch, okay? I just say I'm seeing something there that looks like it might be a head peeking out from around the side of a tree. There is something there, but I don't, I'm not confident enough in what it is to make any sorts of claim. But now, if I take the blue arrow, or I mean the green arrow, for those of you who still can't see it, and then I do that and I point to it, the green arrow construction paper cutout instructions. If, despite holding up the blue rectangle or red circle, your companions are still having a hard time seeing that which you're pointing out, use the green arrow to point to the specific location within the red circle or the blue rectangle in order to make things easier for them. If, now listen, this is very important, okay? Because these are the only three tools other than the, the wind gauge and whatnot and the stick. If, after using the green arrow to its full effect, and it's very effective, as you've just seen me demonstrate, your companion still cannot see what it is you want them to see, you're either seeing something that isn't there, or you need companions with better eyesight. Okay? Like this green arrow. Look, there's a pine tree. Okay? Now, if you can't see that pine tree, either I'm seeing things... And maybe there's not a pine tree there, or maybe I need viewers with better eyesight. Green arrow made out of construction paper can prove such profound things like that. How profound is that thing? And remember, Kevin, Crazy Lake, words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. A lot of people are like, I miss you, videos. Where you gave us words of wisdom. Hey, you want some words of wisdom? Right here. On every cutout. In every kit. <clears throat> ah. I almost forgot. Our length of engineering tape. Okay. 
the final item other than the plastic bag. These aren't cheap. You bought Ziplocs lately? Okay. Length of engineering tape. Let me make sure you can see over here. That figure seems to be particularly more dark than the others. Those are cedar, eastern red cedars. I don't think that is. Why is it so dark? That's creepy. You know, I can look back, but it'll just run away, whatever it is. That's part of my research method. For those of you who've been following, you know that. Never make eye contact. Okay. Length of engineering tape. Once settled into an area where you will be squatching for some time, tie the length of engineering tape to the limb of a tree at head length in order to measure the wind. If you see something that appears to be moving and the tape is also moving, what you see moving in the distance may be moving as a result of the wind or a breeze. However, if the tape is not moving, what you see moving in the distance may actually be moving on its own, and potentially it could be. Bigfoot Sasquatch. See? Potentially. So yes, to little Miss Thang, who was just had her mind blown after seeing the video this morning, and uh, I guess went to our Etsy store and saw that these Bigfoot Sasquatch field research kits are now indeed available for purchase on our Etsy store. Her mind was blown and she just, she wrote, hold on, here it is. She, she wrote, OMG, are you serious? Did you actually really make a bunch of homemade, handmade field research kits on your own and list them in your Etsy store? OMG, I can't believe this. Yes, it's true. I did do that. With the help of my beautiful bride, Dearly, a.k.a. Giggly Girl. She cuts the shapes because I don't have the attention span for it. I sign them and write my words of wisdom on the back, and package them up and do the mail outs. Now, I've taken the phone off the tripod because we have a couple of minutes of daylight left. And no, this isn't the tree knocking stick from the kit I just displayed because somebody's going to buy that and I don't want to have to maybe... Well, I'm taking this just in case. I'm curious as to what that dark figure was up here. And we've got just enough daylight to see before it's entirely dark. So let's go up here. I'm going to hold the phone in this hand so that we can get more of that light from the skyline back here behind us. Was that it moving up the hill? Let's bum rush them. It's been a while. Wow, look. It's gone. It was standing right here. Whatever that thing was, it was right here. <sighs> I hear footsteps. Whatever it was, it has eluded us yet again. Gone, back into the forest. All right, well, here in about five or six minutes, it will have full advantages. It will be full dark and I won't be able to see. So I'm heading back in. Guys, <laughs> that was no joke. We do have those kits available on our Etsy store now. For the super low price of $19.73. Why $19.73? Again, because numbers mean something. $19.99, other than being a pretty good song from Prince, it was a good song from Prince. It doesn't mean anything to me, but $19.73 does because it's the year I was born. <clears throat> and you know what? I googled Bigfoot tree knocking sticks. Do you know I found two other people that actually sell those things? One is for $67, and 
and one is for 45 just for a stick that's like not even close to the quality of mine in my opinion and with mine you get the blue rectangle you get the red circle you get the green arrow you get the engineering tape it's all autographed geez so what a bargain and that's just a you know because i know little miss thing going to come back say something about that all right so guys huh. happy squatching